Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2017 on a 67 plate. Uh, it is the Ford Transit Custom 460 17 seat minibus uh, with the 2 litre, sorry, the 2.2 TDCI uh, Euro 6 engine in it, uh, giving approximately 125 brake horsepower, uh, six speed gearbox on it. Uh, one keep from new, it's only covered 4,000 miles from new um, and it's in lovely condition. Um, so you get good ideas as we walk around now uh, as to what it's like. Now it is as it's just arrived in with us. Uh, we, are, um, we haven't even actually got around to washing it off yet. So it gives you a good idea of exactly what, how it's been kept, how it's been looked after. So we're going to just head up there onto the, uh, onto the roof cone. Uh, no um, signs of any uh, damage from this angle here. It looks all pretty good to me. Coming down onto your windscreen. No stone chips on your windscreen, that's all good. Nothing to worry about there. We will put it through on a fresh MOT before it goes out the door. And then down onto the bonnet, right, we've got a couple of fly marks on the bonnet where it's just been uh, driven into us. Um, so this is all these that you see, uh, a couple of fly marks, a little bit dusty where it's been driven into us. My valeters are so busy at the moment, I thought, right, let's just go and grab it, get a video done of it, and we can just get the uh, final clean done on it uh, afterwards. Uh, front grille's all good. Front bumper, all good. Front bumper corner passenger side, all good. Front headlamp unit, all good. And if we look down the side profile of the van, hopefully you can see there are no major dents or dings to point out to you. There's nothing cosmetic really that i've seen uh as i've gone around it it is really straight and tidy but look down the side profile there you can see no dents or dings uh steel wheel on the front here wheels all in good condition as is the wheel cap cover you got a bridgestone tire on there as well that tire has plenty of tire tread depth on it as you can see your passenger side front wing that's all good passenger side wing mirror cover We've got a really, really light scratch on the indicator part. In fact, some of that may actually take it off, but it's all in good working order. It's not cracked or anything. Your passenger door front glass, that's all in good order. No scratches on it from the window going up and down. Door handles, etc., they're all good. The door itself is all good. Your side plastic trims, those are all good on it as well. Go there onto the roof, so high up there, that's all good. Uh, sliding door glass that's all good and sliding door itself is all good as well coming to the passenger side rear quarter big old unit this is isn't it um, but as you can see that's all in good condition glass etc all very nice and tidy your rubbing strips let me just walk around it so we've got one minor bit of cosmetics here so a little bit there and a little bit there nothing major um, but uh, just a minor cosmetic bit there. And as we go along the rest of the black plastic trim, it's a little bit dusty. We've got a really minor mark there, but again, nothing major. It actually doesn't really, hasn't really scratched the plastic massively. As you can see, the side rubbing strips, all in pretty good condition, aren't they? Front mud, mud flaps on the front as well. And if I get down low, you can see that there's no damage on the lower seals. We do have an electronic step here, which I'll demonstrate to you now. Look, we've got to go to open the sliding door, open the sliding door, and out comes your electric sliding step. Opening up the passenger door. So behind here you have your diesel fuel flap, and this one here opens up for your add blue topper. Passenger side door card, that's in clean, tidy condition as well. Inside the door card, as you can see, all very nice. Cup holders, everything's very clean and tidy on it. Passenger side airbag, and then your flooring on the passenger side, that's clean and tidy as well. Your entry steps and plastics, those are all in good condition as well. Your driver's passenger seat now, let me just move a few bits off here. So I've got my camera on there at the moment and a little bit of paperwork so but there's your passenger seat all good let's just put the paperwork back on there for now 
and then your entry steps for your sliding door again that's in lovely condition as are the painted parts of the steps hooking in between your sliding doors that's all nice and clean and tidy in there as well isn't it obviously you've got all of your health and safety yellow grab handles now obviously these are the proper built you know factory minibuses aren't they flooring inside's all nice uh, it'll actually come up cleaner than this a couple of dusty footprints on it at the moment but generally all clean and tidy you've got a leather multi-function steering wheel here you have your cruise control and speed limiter on the steering wheel there as well in fact i'll run you through all of the controls and stuff in the second when i get to the front but there you can see driver's seats all good back of the seats are good your interior storage here now this being the later model you've also got your overhead storage and your seats all of your seats so you've got uh, you've got another isofix seat there but the seats are all in good order there's no rips or tears i'll show you the backs of them as we go along we'll probably do with just a quick valet uh, we'll go over them with the with the wet vac we always tend to do that nowadays anyway with the thing that's gone on recently but hopefully you can see all of your seat trims are in good order obviously you've got your four seats across the back here just your interior, you know, your painted bits on the interior, they're all nice and unmarked. Your roof lining is nice and unmarked. Okay, apart from the dead moth up there. Storage, all very clean and tidy, isn't it? It's in exceptionally clean and tidy condition, to be fair. Back of your seats, try and video those without falling over. As you can see, all of your seat trims and everything, they're all in great condition, aren't they? Flooring as well, flooring inside, it's the rubber flooring, it's all in good order. I mean, essentially, yeah, yeah, just trying to stress to you how clean it is without sounding too repetitive. So, sliding door closes and your sliding step goes back in. Bridgestone tyres on the back end, as you can see, your um, painted steel wheels are in great condition on the back end. Tyres have loads of tyre tread depth. Oh, we've got a little bit of a nail in there, so we'll have to get that sorted out on it for you. That would all come under our PDI checks. And looking down the passenger profile of the van, all good. So light unit on the back there, that's in all in good order your rear bumper so let's have a look at your rear bumper your reflectors are in good order top of the bumper is in good order it's obviously not had loads of stuff thrown in and out of the back of it the back doors themselves all good high level brake lights all good and then opening up your rear doors as you can see by the condition of the rear doors this van has not done a lot of hard work at all so they've all had a slightly easy life haven't they in the last 12 months or so and these things are just going up back up in price daily at the moment they're the only commercial that took a dive in covid because obviously the need to carry loads of people around wasn't happening wasn't it but uh since we've opened back up again the values of these are starting to go back through the roof again so, you know, you've got minor, minor little marks on your plastic step on the back there, but nothing major. Back of the uh, uttermost rear seats are all in good condition, aren't they? And then, light unit this side, that's all good. Rear bumper corner's all good. And then looking down the side profile of the van, again, driver's side, all very clean and tidy. A little bit of mud splash up on the plastics there but all good again steel wheels this side are good we've got bridgestone tires on this side as well they will have plenty of tire tread depth on them as well and then the passenger side rear quarter sorry driver side rear quarter that's all good got your opening window here
another opening window here. And then your plastic rubbing strips going down the side of the van. They're all uh, Yeah, driver's door, rubbing strips, etc. All pretty good. Uh, door handle, no signs of any block break-ins or anything like that. Your mirror case, this side, both mirrors are good. Indicators are all good, as is the mirror unit itself. And your plastic wheel arch protectors, those are all good on it as well. Steel wheels, again, all good, with another Bridgestone tyre. So that makes six. They've all got loads and loads of tyre tread depth on them, so everything's all nice and adds up, doesn't it? Headlamp unit's all good this side. And then the only thing really is just to give you a quick once over on the inside here. So your driver's door card, that's all in good order. Again, clean and tidy. Central locking switches here, electric windows are here. Your entry steps, although a little bit dusty at the moment, they'll be cleaned up, uh, but those aren't chewed up or scratched or bad at all. And then same with your driver's footwear, looks slightly dusty at the moment, it's just had our boots in and out of it, but pedal rubbers are all good, front floor rubbers are all good. Your side of your driver's seat's all good. Seat itself, all very clean and tidy, as you can see. We have electric mirrors here as well, and we have your lights, side lights, main lights are here. Uh, the uh, headlamp levelers is twisted. And you've got your rear fog lights here as well. Cup holders are here, and we have top of the dashboard here, is button here, that opens up your dashboard. You've got 12 volt power here and a USB power here. And then this being the later model, you have, let's just show you. So you've got the slightly bigger display in the center of the dash there. We fire this up now, and as you can see, 4,190 miles. Uh, and you've got the bigger trip computer display here. Also gives you your lane departure warning on there as well. Uh, you have the slightly different and more updated stereo system here so that gives you bluetooth phone and bluetooth music blower controls 12 volt power here six speed manual gearbox reverse gear to the left and then forward and then we've got controls here for your lane departure warning system and your indicators and then the right hand stalk is for your intermittent wiper wash etc etc we've got uh, your uh, computer system display is controlled by this button on here so just telling us, yeah, instant fuel, average fuel, uh, your speed and fuel range, etc. Uh, we've got cruise control and speed limiter. And then over here, we've got the controls for your volume and search controls and also a bit of voice activation with um, your telephone answering as well. Nice leather, multifunction steering wheel, as you can see, that's all in good order as well. And there we go. So 4,190 miles, it is a um, clean and tidy truck. 60 to 70 photos on our website, which is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the center of the country, offering nationwide delivery, finance, and part exchange. If you require any further details, feel free to give me a call, 01905 672 080. And for, as for now, thanks for looking at the video. Cheers.